Hey, are you looking for a way to get an RSS feed for a YouTube channel? If so, you're in the right place. I'm Adam with Productivity Academy, and this is going to be a short video on how to do this. This is something I use myself uh, for importing videos into various applications, sending them other places, using them in places like uh, feed readers, um, Readwise, other tools. But anyways, for whatever reason, you may want to do this. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get the feed for any YouTube channel using my channel as an example. Um, and then follow up with a couple of things you may want to uh, consider when you're doing this. Um, so it, depending on what you're using, um, as far as keyboard shortcuts, um, I'm not going to go into that because in general, the easiest way is to right click and view page source. And that may depend on what browser you're using, whatever system you're using. Um, but once you do that, you will pull up the page source. If you're not familiar with this, don't worry about it. You don't really need to know a ton about this, but what you need to know to how to do is to find on page. Okay, so what we can do, you can either scroll around and look for RSS or, for example, in Chrome on Windows, I'm using Control F to find this again may change based on your browser. And I am going to put RSS in there so that it brings me over there. And right away, we can see what it is. What do we have a link here? It's RSS. That's it. That is the RSS feed for my channel. Now, there's something else you can do here because what you can do is take this. This stays the same for every channel. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash feed slash videos dot XML question mark channel underscore ID equals. Okay, so that's all well and good. And if you look at a lot of um, guides on how to do this, you'll see, okay, we'll just keep this, you know, snippet somewhere and then throw on the channel ID. Uh, but if we go back and look at the channel, you can see that I have a custom handle here and there is a way to connect these two, say where you see a string of uh, numbers and letters here over to my custom handle. But I find it's much easier just to always go view page source, find the RSS feed and not have to worry about any of this. And that way, you know, you're getting the right thing. Also, if you just put in at Productivity Academy after the part I just uh, kind of spelled out, you would get a 404 error. Um, it wouldn't work. You need to have the actual um, alphanumeric channel ID. So make sure uh, you're doing that the right way, but that's simple. Once you do it, the right takes about five seconds. Um, hit a couple buttons or uh, shortcuts and away you go. And you can now import an RSS feed from an entire channel into whatever you want. Again, your feed readers, your tools, whatever that might be. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave it below and I will get back to you. Thanks.